So the other thing is you need the right oral microbiome. Is, That's exactly right. So do we know do we know which species? Although I, I, I guess to some extent it doesn't really matter which species, but are there any particular probiotics that people could take if you've been using mouthwash for a while and it's like okay, well I need to like get these bugs back? Is there a way? Do, do we know a way of kind of accelerating that? <clears throat> yes. So we've identified and characterized these bacteria. They're probably half a dozen to a dozen primary species that are present and responsible for reducing nitrate to nitride and, and nitric oxide. So the good news is in our, in our 2019 paper, we found that if you're using mouthwash and you stop for four days, much of the oral microbiome has completely repopulated. So if you just stop using mouthwash, now these bugs can, can flourish and repopulate and you can maintain a healthy microbiome. But there's ways you can accelerate this. So Number one, you can add more nitrate to your diet, more green leafy vegetables. But again, we don't know if the vegetables you're eating provide sufficient nitrate to provide any prebiotic or probiotic effect. Uh, but there's, I haven't found any probiotic or prebiotic on the market that can restore the production of the, the non-commensal or the non-pathogenic commensal bacteria that we've characterized. But here's what we're finding out. The lozenge that I created this orally disintegrating tablet that sits on the top of the tongue and you move it around seems to be a very good prebiotic and a probiotic because the most pathogenic bacteria are sensitive to nitric oxide. So when we're generating nitric oxide in the oral cavity, the pathogenic bacteria, the nitric oxide binds to the iron sulfur centers of the respiratory cycle and basically shuts down their respiration. Where the good commensal bacteria are basically use nitrogen to respire on. So they're insensitive to nitric oxide. So the beauty of what we're doing by creating nitric oxide in the mouth, we're selectively killing the pathogenic bacterium and maintaining the diversity of the oral microbiome and replenishing these nitric oxide producing bacteria. So the lozenge itself may be the best probiotic or prebiotic to restoring the normal flora that we found. So there may not be a need for any other probiotic or prebiotic to restore the microbiome. Just stop using mouthwash, get rid of fluoride, and the lozenge seems to, to do the trick. Right. So, so the bugs are either already there or they come in on vegetables or something. But then... Yeah, so these are facultative anaerobes, meaning that if oxygen's around, then they'll use oxygen to respire. Right. If oxygen becomes limiting, then they'll use nitrogen as an energy substrate in in basically perform that two electron reduction of nitrate to nitrite. And, you know, th this is an interesting observation too, because mouth breathers, you know, obviously are, are bypassing normal nitric oxide production. So mouth breathers fully oxygenate the mouth, causes complete oral dysbiosis. People who eat a lot of sugars or gummies or chews, you know, change the ecology in the oral microbiome, lowers the pH, now allows for the, you know, more pathogenic caries causing gingival plaque bacteria to repopulate, causing oral dysbiosis, oral disease, and ultimately systemic disease. So we have to be able to close our mouth, breathe through the nose, the upper uh, nasal sinuses to activate nitric oxide production and basically maintain normal oral pH and that ecology in the oral microbiome. So this lozenge, is that is that the drug or is that a supplement? Well, we're, we're, the, the product we have on the market today is a dietary supplement. Right. Um, and so that's called the N101 nitric oxide activating lozenge. But we're taking that same core technology and developing it into drug therapy. So just like you can take, you know, uh, Tylenol over the counter and you can get a prescription for a more potent Tylenol or same thing for, mm. you know, Naproxen or Naproxen. There's, there's OTC doses and there's drug doses. So we, we've had dietary supplements on the market for a number of years, but now we're taking that same core technology and developing it into drug therapy. So we'll maintain the, the two kind of product categories. Uh, the beauty of the dietary supplement is readily available. You don't need a prescription uh, and it's designed to enhance the normal structure and function of the human body and restore nitric oxide production. But we can't obviously make disease claims because it's not a drug. What we're doing with our drug program is we're going after specific indications 
that when we demonstrate safety and efficacy for that drug indication, then the FDA will grant us drug approval. And now physicians can write a prescription for our nitric oxide drug for that specific disease indication. Right. Okay. And then this is available on the N101 website. Is that, that that's, that's right. Channel. So it's, yeah, it's www.n101.com. And it's the letter N, the number one, the letter O, number one.com, N101. It's not N101. You know, there's some squatters out there who bought this website that try to take a lot of the traffic from it. So hmm. it's not N101.com. It's N101.com. Uh, the topical version, is that available through your website or is that uh, only on prescription? It is. So the, the, is. the topical yeah. product that we launched in 2019, and it's for skincare and beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's seen remarkable effects in fine lines and wrinkles and, and really the aging skin. Uh, but again, yeah, it's a dual chamber. You take one pump from each side, you mix it together, apply it to the face, neck, decollete, mm -hmm. um, and you'll see the skin turn pink. And so we call that the pneuma glow, but it's basically, that's a reflection of increased blood flow. So we're recruiting capillaries and we're we're forcing blood flow to the, any area that where you apply the serum. But yeah, it's available on the n101.com website as well. 